Clark School District has recently acquired a new building, but not all taxpayers there are pleased with that purchase. Savannah Harrison is live this morning with the plans moving forward. Good morning, Savannah. Good morning, Elizabeth. Well, Ozark Schools has purchased this building here behind me, the former Dolby building, for just over $8.2 million. It is connected to their current district office, and it's something Ozark Schools says is a great opportunity for it to expand in the future. We are very fortunate that the Dolby building came available for purchase. Uh, we are using it or purchasing it to combine services. So our tech department as well as our maintenance department is coming over here. We are also looking at the potential of offering different services. It allows us to offer different services for our high school students. Only part of the building, which is already set up, will be used for those technology and maintenance departments. As for the other part, school leaders are still at the drawing board. Those are just potential things that we could do. So it's, there's nothing written in stone on that. It's just with this space, it gives us so many opportunities to think about how we're going to grow within the district and all the wonderful things that we can do for our students in our community. Well, the school says this is a great opportunity for the district, not all taxpayers are on board with this plan. Nobody is against good education. Nobody is against having kids receive a top quality education, but people do want accountability for their tax dollars. Bub Sahulan lives in Ozark School District and thinks this money should go to the well-being of students, not just new buildings. Any Anything that's going to contribute to the long-term well-being of our students, including uh, vocational skills, but let's not just continue to acquire more buildings for the sake of acquiring more buildings. If that does fit into the long-range plans of actually educating students, great. But if it's going to just be to accommodate more bureaucratic space, then I got a little problem with it. Ozark Schools, however, says this will save the district money long term. I think our it's about $425 per square foot to build something brand new and to renovate. We have spent about $200 per square foot. So it is uh, going to be a cost savings eventually in the long run, too. Important to note, taxes will not be raised due to this purchase. The school plans to pay the debt off through a variety of funding. We are looking at uh, different sites that we have currently and the potential of selling those. So that's a, a great way to start paying down debt. Um, and then also we have financing and this, we're going to combine it with, we have a project for ESCO, which is a performance contracting service that is working on our HVAC at the high school as well as implementing solar at our, two of our elementaries. The savings that we will see in the future from the solar and from the HVAC will help to cover the financing for this for this building. Now, if you're interested in making your voice heard on the future of the former Dolby building, Ozark Schools is having an open planning meeting on January 16th at 6.30 p.m. That will take place at the Ozark Middle School. Reporting live in Ozark, Savannah Harrison, KY3 News. Thank